What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So run off where we left off, we are still fighting in France against the Swedish attack and we have uh, managed to jump onto another force and allow it, well, not allow it to escape and we shall destroy it. So further ado, let's crack on. So right now we've got in France is working, we are definitely uh, chipping away Swedish attackers one stack at a time and then it will mean we will have significant forces in the area to launch our Britain over the North Sea and into into Swedish territory itself okay so there's probably pretty good I want to I think I'll put my full artillery here so I can run my infantry up over in front of them uh, so let's make put a wing of men down here Another wing of men down here. Split our cavalry on both flanks. Because we will be on the offensive. Rather than on the defensive. Uh, the howitzers can march up with us. General. Now. Oh. Okay. Bring out the field artillery. Bring out the infantry. Their artillery's in a terrible position. <laughs> oh, okay, push up. So the objective is to lure their lure their cavalry into premature charges. So their force does is comprised significantly. The vast majority is cavalry, which is great because we can we are an infantry-based force, so we can easily form square and see them off. Because they have a couple of units of light infantry, some line infantry, artillery. But yeah, it's mostly cavalry. So you've got to be ready for any charges that may happen. Our gunners are in position. So let's unlimber them and set them to attack. Probably this unit of cavalry. So any long and short shots will still potentially kill cavalrymen rather than attacking the uh, forces in the guns. There you go. They got some garrison guards as well. Let's watch the opening salvo. I mean, even if they're these were facing the right way, that's a pretty terrible decision. First gun, second gun, third, fourth, fifth. There's a good set of kills. So these two men can block. Block the, that side of the uh, the house. The cavalry rebalancing. Regiment of horse, take him out. Regiment of dragoons, go around the north. You guys join the battle. You guys run, but you're probably going to dump into square formation there we go general's getting involved throw you in there to fight the general push these two these two infantry units up same with you guys charge the general try pin him down so 
Anthony with you. Just use our infantry to mob them. Our artillery using round shot, just pound the pound their line infantry. Oh, he could be quick liming him, but no, that drastically reduces who he can attack. Dragoons are routed. There we go. Oh, kill the general. Although, to be honest, they've got lots of generals' bodyguard units. This, he might not be in there. Enjoying that cavalry unit fight. Provincial cavalry is marching in. Uh, let's pick new targets for the guns. Because right now their cavalry is a bit of a spent force. up. Get my cavalry to fight their cavalry. There we go. is firing. A lot of cavalry at the rear. Maybe focus on that with my foot artillery. Oh yes, that's exactly what we want to see. This is the problem they have because they've got too many too much infantry not enough actual units to do battle how is providing close support oh no you, you carry on One goes into square. Yeah, their cavalry is charging across this line now. <laughs> Everyone get into square. You whip around the flank. Yeah, this is this is not gonna be pretty. But 
they're going to lose an awful lot of cavalrymen. Let's run my cavalry down ahead of them. Just try and intercept some of their troops. Push up our infantry. Through the gaps. You can't really go anywhere else. So charge into the back of the cavalry combat. Let's pick new artillery targets. You just go over here instead and intercept as many infantry units as, as possible. dump. You guys there. You guys can shoot out of them so that's good. Good. You guys intercept the gunners. There we go. And they've been broken. Take our infantry out of squares. Actually, let's just run you guys up. Let's make sure we do try actually kill their gunners. Chasing on the cavalry is a bit of a pointless task. The next big task will be You know what we have to do? Rather than just bashing into each other point blank, let's get our infantry into the mix. To the garrison guards taking a bit of a hammering. Hold fire with all my artillery. There you go, these guys have smashed into the flank of the Swedish line infantry. And they should go down fairly quickly, even though they're quite good at melee infantry. We've got so many men in the combat. Uh, you also get involved. Charge them in my last unit of cavalry. These guys have got back off and continue to attack the cavalry to make sure they die. Yeah, let's continue. Obviously, being very careful because there are a bunch of spikes around here. Okay, let's get my infantry out of the way. You're still charging down the militia, you're charging down the garrison guards. You guys, oh no, set them to attack something. Now they've routed, it's just the militia left. Oh, and my general chasing down the light infantry. I sadly made him walk, not run. So he's not going to get there and actually do as much killing as I would have liked. He will do some, but not enough. Close victory, that wasn't close. But there we go. Swedish stack destroyed. Runti, Replenish with what you can. So, yeah, you need you need replenishment. But right now we have lots of troops joining from the south. Well mainly it's these two armies. But our position in the British Isles is strong. Our position in Europe is strong. They cannot make substantial gains against us yet. Okay, let's hit end turn and watch. 
response will be. Obviously Britain asks for unreasonable amounts of tech, which they will not get. The Prussians are on their crusade against the Ottoman Empire, but they're not our problem. <laughs> right when I say they're not our problem. So right, right when things were going smooth. Yeah, it's understandable that that Ottoman army does come into effect to uh, ruin our day. Ooh, against a big army. So no, we can't defend against that. Well, it wasn't a big navy. It was just a powerful navy. I wonder if they were joined by Britain. They may have been. Although, to be honest, now I've got access to Lisbon and Spain, it would probably be wise to try and go over to the... Obviously, they keep raiding. It would, it would potentially be wise to actually go and secure some more territory in... The Americas. Yeah, let's auto that. Abbiamo vinto! Try and cross our river? I don't think so. But we need to take the fight to the Mughals. Not the Mughals, the Ottomans, in some way. The trouble is, though, we've got to be on Yeah, that's exactly what I was worried about. Oh, Navy, 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 Navy. Nino D'Agostino. Scander and Sham. Just auto that. Damn, we lost a bunch of ships. Why do I do that? And they weren't even... Oh, screw you, auto-resolve. That is... So lame. Get them back to Syracuse. So we're going to be attacked by this fella, and there is. N I was about to say, there's nothing we can do about it. Yes, there is. So we're still at peace with Britain. In case it's embark. Mr. Defendi. And his third rate ship of the line. Up to Taranto. Disembark the army. March him up to the far end of Naples. And then attack him. I don't know why it's giving us such even odds. Um, things are not even. Let's take him out. So we needed to free up our... Might actually, it might even be worth trying to make peace with Sweden. The problem is with this Italian campaign is they seem to be uh, firefighting against one or I just need to get a lot more aggressive in my actions in France that's probably what I need to do okay the howitzers you get going and get firing let's probably make bulk of our strength on the right I don't really want to go in the town I want to make advan take advantage of my superiority and firepower. So let's get ready to set up a position on the right flank. And that probably means the house has come down here for a bit more safety, which means probably not unlimited. So you guys march onward. Here. My other position. Arch up. My gunners probably march to like up here. Howitzers follow them to a degree. Bring up our cavalry. And 
There we go. I think we've got lots of howitzers over here, which are a bit dangerous. If they leave them exposed, I'll try and run in a light cavalry unit to take them out. If they leave them exposed, and ideally what that means is they don't have any camels. Let's speed up time, because right now nothing's happening. Hmm. It's getting a bit jumpy. So unfortunately my house is only 12 pounders, but they're probably going to be well within range. I'm probably actually going to just let them fire round shot against their houses, because they're already on... So you just quick climb the houses rather than round shot them. Okay, so my left brigade march up to buy a bit of space between them and the guns. So now these guys can unlimber and fire over Mr. Defendi. His artillery is up and out. doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay, don't pick the Mamelukes. It just provokes them to attack. Okay, my heart says if my artillery has begun firing. Pick various batteries as my target because they may drop quick claim on us. They are. Yeah, these poor camel nomads are being opened up on. Front line deploy square. Focus fire my artillery all on one battery. Quick climbing skills. Just keep dropping in. Got some muscle into the rear, but let's push up our right flank. Push up our cavalry. We probably, well, we are going to have enough capacity to uh, hold them. Because they haven't charged forward in any great strength so my light hussars are going to charge forward devastating hit on the marines there they're limbering up their howitzers so that's going to that problem is going to resolve itself Marines engaged in Muslim. So Bashi Bazooks are hidden back here, so I do want to not be here for as long as possible. Camels are charging again. Quick climbing uh, artillery focus on these elements in the rear. Run my light cavalry through the enemy in order to escape the combat and just charge charge in with oh, god damn they've just yeah they've just broken okay you guys aren't shooting at anything so I meant to click for just fire at will but now they're unlimbering Those guys charge the Nizam infantry. 
before things get too out of hand. Start bringing up my infantry battle line. Mr. Defendi, let's get you into the mix. Charge the general's bodyguard. My heavy cavalry is going to have a great time with these and his am infantry. Quick climbs going in. It's missing quite a lot. So we've intercepted their general. Charge down that Nizam infantry. And line yourself like this to fire into the camels. You charge down the Bashi Bazooks. Okay, you guys need to leave this combat. And go fight some of these elements here. Oh, there's a handful of Janissaries left. Camels are gone. Yeah, you just charge down the Nizan infantry. No, the cavalry. I told you to get out of there. Yeah, you just hit the muscle in. Not my ideal target, but take what you can get. Cavalry going. Let's go hit the general as well. Let's provide some support for my hussars. My general, you get back here and get ready to charge down this Nizam unit. There we go. Camel's bodyguard's routed. Focus on the Nizam. Lots of stuff's going to route. Unfortunate, but not a lot we can do about that. Well, this infantry isn't going to stick around for very long. They may be winning for now. Engaging the Mamelukes, then get ready to charge the Muslim. Although, to be honest, I'll keep one of these Hussar units back. To hit the Nizam. There you go, the Muslim. Continue. Attack the Nizam first, then attack the armoured to thingy warband. You cut down those fellows, bring in this cavalry for support, and then that'll probably be all the killing we can actually do against this unit. Because they ride through the town, it's made it a bit of a pathing nightmare. Although, my. They're actually doing quite a good job. Come 
Oh, now they're an open country. Oh god, they have spread out really far. Some over here and everything. <laughs> this isn't <laughs> this isn't all that's left of them. Yeah, but still, at least we managed to defend the town of Naples, which is exactly. Let's see if after that crushing blow, if they will then make peace. Because sometimes they do, if they take a, a big hit. Okay, what about Sweden? Good. So we have fortified our territory against Sweden. Mm, there's a lone sixth rate, second rate over there. Well, we can prepare our borders against the the Swedes, but we also want to bring more men to bear against the uh, against the Ottomans. So if we bring two more armies down, we can launch them against maybe Cairo. Although actually there's a lot of men here. Maybe we land them in Sarajevo? Or in this area here? And finally give some support to Athens? It might be a wise idea, because if we attack Athens and secure it, which we could have done ages ago, it will give them an incentive to keep attacking here. And it will draw off their forces from attacking elsewhere. So how is this? Okay. Oh, I, for I completely forgot we are actually in the Americas. Um, okay, so Mr. Castelli. Unfortunately, the Mughals have got most of the good places. We still haven't fixed Havana, which is unfortunate. Okay, it says we're bankrupt, but we're actually okay. In terms of politics... Well, let's find out who's at war with Sweden. No one. So they're asking to be at war with us. Fortunately, they're allied with everyone else. But we can strengthen our hold. We could even maybe build a fort here to control this pass. This guy's holding the bridge. This guy's holding a bridge hold the bridge down here so four armies could potentially hold a hold the line but for how long but next time we're gonna get 12 grand copper bottoms as well but let's hit in 10 the brits are at war with the moogles which is nice hopefully that enters oh they want me to give them a bunch of tech for 64 grand yes <laughs> so they're tiny right now as Britain as a faction is tiny um, all their major allies are probably going to be fairly quick, hot on the heels of uh, researching that tech anyway so that's not a massive concern <laughs> they've yeah, gutsy let's drop all my infantry up here first to make sure they're the first in to support me with some cavalry marines sweet but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time with the defense of naples cheers everyone